Construction at the Hamilton Field Hospital site has been underway for 10 days now. The tent structure goes up quite quickly. Um, it's all the inner workings uh, that take the time. So we're still going to be under construction for the next four to five weeks. Kelly Campbell with Hamilton Health Sciences is in charge of the infrastructure and in getting this health unit up and running. She says it won't be until nearly June that patients will be treated here. We're targeting first patient May 31st. Right now, crews are working on metal scaffolding that will run the length of the tents. Through that um, will be placed all of the electrical wiring, all of the HVAC system, all of the plumbing lines, um, because we have to provide obviously power, water, air conditioning and heat. That will take about two weeks time and then they will need to set up fire alarms, the nurse call system and overall communications. Then we have a period of time where we'll be uh, moving in um, equipment, furniture, medical supplies. Luckily, there have been no delays in getting equipment and some is already in storage ready to go, but it takes the timeline to the end of May. The HHS Field Hospital is one of two being built in Ontario right now. The other is at Sunnybrook in Toronto. They began construction before the Hamilton location. So there's been some great learnings there that will help us move a bit faster. But timelines have been faster overseas. In less than two weeks, China was able to build two additional hospitals to create space for patients. This isn't like setting up a field hospital in the middle of a war zone. <laughs> this is setting up a field hospital on a parking lot which required some site prep because it wasn't completely level. And Campbell says they required discussion with the city and fire department. The safety systems take some time to pull together relative to the requirements uh, of our province. And it's going to be different in every country. The Hamilton Field Hospital is set to provide 80 beds, but it will be able to accommodate up to 100. It will be used for people nearing the end of their hospital stay. Patients will only stay for five to six days and it's expected to open up space in the hospital for people with more urgent care.